Our book was Far From the Tree, written by Robin Benway, and it is a realistic fiction book. Grace, Maya, and Joaquin are all adopted children who don't realize that they're siblings. One day, however, they meet up and their lives change forever. Grace desperately wants to find their bio mom, but the others disagree with her. As they discover who they are and who their family is, Grace meets a new guy, Maya struggles through her parents' divorce, and Joaquin might just find himself a new family. Everything builds up to them discovering who their mother is. What's gonna happen? You gotta read the book to find out. All three main characters in the book change drastically throughout it. For example, Grace at the beginning, when she had to give up Peach, she was struggling to feel connections with people because she still felt like she was greatly missing the presence of Peach in her life. But at the end, she was able to accept that she can miss Peach at the same time uh, having connections with other people. For Maya at the beginning, she very much ran away from problems, especially with Claire, her sister, and her parents. And at the end of the book, she was able to fix problems and being able to realize that she can do that while keeping those people in her life. For Joaquin, he was scared of letting people in, especially with his parents and even his sisters a bit, and Bertie. He was scared that he wouldn't be able to be what they needed and that he might hurt them. At the end of the book, he was able to feel comfortable with them and like that he didn't need to try and measure up to the expectations he had for himself when he was even able to rekindle a few old relationships with people he used to know. There are many examples of figurative language in Far From the Tree. The one that stuck out to me the most were all the metaphors of using colors to describe certain feelings. One specific example is when Joaquin sticks his feet into the pool and he says it feels blue, and Maya realizes that she does the same exact thing, where she uses colors to describe how something feels. Another example of figurative language is the usage of the word tethered. We see this numerous times, specifically over the first few chapters. All three characters say that they feel untethered in some way. Now, none of the characters are actually physically untethered or were tethered in the first place to anything, but they use this to describe themselves, which is why it's figurative language. And one last example of figurative language was illusion. Both Grace and Maya used Alice in Wonderland as an example of illusion. Maya said that her favorite scene in Alice in Wonderland was where Alice grows and she becomes too big for her house. And Maya relates this to her own life in the same way that sometimes her house feels too small for her. Grace also talks about Alice in Wonderland and when she sees a bunch of girls at school, she says that she wants to fall down a rabbit hole, just like Alice. These were all wonderful examples of figurative language in Far From the Tree. These are some of the key passages in Far From the Tree. The first quote is from when Maya, Joaquin, and Grace were going to find their birth mother. And Joaquin was about to bail because he didn't believe that he deserved a family. Maya basically tells him that they're all together even if he does make mistakes. And that's a part of what a family is making mistakes and forgiving each other. In the bottom quote, Raph and Grace are talking about telling her siblings about Peach. And Raph says, but it'd just be a shame if you had all these people willing to support you and you never let them. So I think both of those quotes show how important the relationships in this book are and how they strengthen over time. Some of the themes prevalent in Far From the Tree by Robin Benway are how relationships can be formed during hardships and in times of grief, how you can choose your family and how families should stick together, how racism affects your time in the foster care system, and how we all have problems even if we don't believe the other does due to privilege, race, sexuality, etc., etc.